Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you guys the Dragon Scale Shield, which is one of my favorite looking shields in Spiral Knights. And we'll go ahead and take a closer look at it. And along the side of the Dragon Scale Shield, there's a bunch of little spikes running along there. And there's also a flame running along the side. So, it looks pretty nice, and it also goes great with any fire-themed costume that you have. And now we're going to be taking a look at the shield's defenses, resistances, and a possible problem that may come up while using it. So, here's the Dragon Scale Shield again, and the Dragon Scale Shield has Piercing Defense. It also has Elemental Defense. The Shield has Poison Resistance, and it also has Fire Resistance. Now you may be thinking, whoa, that sounds like quite a bit more than they usually have. And that's because it doesn't have Normal Defense on it. Now, when I usually do a gear demonstration, I don't even mention that it has normal defense because it's just assumed that most gear has normal defense because the majority of monsters in Spiral Knights deal split damage on almost all of their attacks. Half of it is normal damage and half of it is a specialty, which could be piercing, elemental, etc. But the Dragon Scale Shield does not have normal defense, so it's going to be much weaker against the majority of the monsters that appear in Spiral Knights. So you're really going to have to watch out for that. Now here's an example of the difference that normal defense can make on a shield. And first we're going to be testing the dragon scale shield. And as you can see it breaks pretty quickly like in about 3 or 4 hits. Now here's the barbarous thorn shield. And there's 2 hits, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now I have been kind of negative towards the dragon scale shield, but it does have one strength, and that strength is the compound 42 danger mission. And we're going to be taking a look at why this shield is so good for compound 42. So let's take a look at some of the monsters that we're going to be going up against in compound 42 and what type of damage or status they will be dealing. And first up is the golden bog wisp, which deals pure poison status. Now the dragon scale shield has poison resistance, so it's got that covered. Next up is one of my least favorite members of the Gremlin family, almost up there with the Gremlin healer, but not quite. And it is the Dark Fang Scorcher, and the Dark Fang Scorcher deals elemental damage, and it also deals the fire status. Now the Dragon Scale Shield has elemental defense and fire resistance, so it has that covered. And last but not least is a monster that belongs to the Slime family, and it seems to be everywhere in Compound 42, and that is the Toxoil. And the Toxoil deals piercing damage, fire status, and the poison status. Now the Dragon Scale Shield has all of those covered, so we don't have to worry about that either. Now of course that wasn't all the monsters that you're going to see in Compound 42, but the majority of the ones that you're going to come across will be dealing piercing damage, elemental damage, fire status, or the poison status. Now if you are interested in getting a Dragon Scale Shield, you'll first need to get your hands on a Drake Scale Shield, which you can buy from Zebulon in the 3, 4, or 5 star Hall of Heroes. Then you can take your Drake Scale Shield to a Wyvern Scale Shield. And finally, you can take your Wyvern Scale Shield to a Dragon Scale Shield. And thanks for watching guys, have a great day.